February the 27th, 2008, we're in the Southfield Public Library. Also present is Mr. Tim Workers, who is our photographer. Uh, we are being, we're interviewing Mr. Zach uh, today on behalf of the Veterans History Project at the Library of Congress. So Mr. Zach, uh, could you give us some background information, you, you, where you were born and your full name and, and stuff? Like uh, I was born in Detroit, Michigan, on the east side. I attended Northern High School, Central High School, and then later Wayne State University. Uh, I come from a family. My father was a, a he actually he was he had a horse and wagon, and he uh, was a junk man in those days. It was during the Depression, and uh, I have two older sisters and one older brother. My brother Edward, uh, he also was in the service. Uh, he was in the field artillery. He got in quite early before Pearl Harbor, uh, maybe in March of 41. And uh, my, my two sisters were teachers in the Detroit Public Schools. And subsequently, I became a teacher also in the Detroit Public Schools. And uh, during the war, my sister uh, volunteered. She left her job teaching to work as a uh, Red Cross nurse in Chicago at one of the large hospitals. And after the war, she returned to her job as teacher. Um, okay, all right. Um, you were drafted? I was drafted. Oh. Uh, and uh, what, what were you doing before you got drafted? Well, I, I was attending Wayne University. I was very fortunate mm -hmm. and I was able to graduate in August of 1942 mm -hmm. before I went into the service. Okay. And uh, I waited for my number to come up. Mm -hmm. And when it came up, I went. Okay. Um, uh, we went to Fort Custer, mm -hmm. and then down to, to uh, Flo they shipped us to Florida, it was in November of 42, mm -hmm. and uh, I had basic training there, and then I was classified as, as a person to attend radio school, and I went to a radio school in Chicago, Illinois, mm -hmm. at the Stevens Hotel, mm -hmm. it's now one of the larger hotels in Chicago. Mm -hmm. and. <clears throat> After that, I was sent to another radio school in, uh, in Texas, and uh, San Antonio, Kelly Field. Mm -hmm. And uh, my job was to become a radio operator in, a, in, a, in an Air Force tower. Oh. Uh, and it was during that time that I, I had an opportunity to join the cadets, to apply for cadets. Mm -hmm. And I was sent to Santa Ana, California, and uh, I was given a battery of tests, and they determined that I would be a, a bombardier. I, I was very pleased with that because I never, never even drove a car before I got into the service. Mm -hmm. And I had a cousin who was a bombardier, and I thought, well, that was a good, good kind of job to have. Mm -hmm. uh, I had never been more than a hundred miles away from my home. Mm -hmm. I was 21 years old at the time. Mm -hmm. And uh, we grew up during the Depression. We didn't travel much. We didn't have much occasion to. Mm -hmm. And uh, going into the service was the biggest adventure of my life. Right, right. Uh, I st still consider it the most. Mm -hmm. And of course, I felt very fortunate because I came out of the service without injury. I had an opportunity to serve my country, mm -hmm. which I was proud to do. Okay, okay. Well, what was basic like? I'm mean, just just a little background.